Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to my Let's Play of newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. I am running the game through an emulator because I don't have recording equipment for my for my Wii, and um, it's doing pretty good. I'm running a fairly Hooray. decent computer, but I think we're still gonna run into a little choppiness along the way. Oh look, the princess has been captured again. Who could have predicted that? Oh, well, I can't skip this. But it looks like Bowser is at it again! So now we have to go through all the levels to defeat Bowser once again and restore peace to the Mushroom Kingdom. Now the newer team, the team that created this hack of New Super Mario Bros. Wii, put a lot of time into this hack. It took them three years to create this. And it shows. There's a lot of effort that they put into this. And because of that effort, you can see that as we play, that some of the game's levels have been designed really well, and there are some themes present in newer that Nintendo usually wouldn't put into a, a Mario game, you'll see. <laughs> like, it, we're already diverging from the typical Mario design schematic, because the first world is a beach world, like a sandy beach world, and normally, in our Mario games, the first world tends to be a grass world. But, you'll see, you'll see. Here we have our first star coin of the game and of the level. I believe this block contains a Yoshi, which it does. The newer team did something pretty cool. Every time you pick up a Yoshi, their color is randomized. I've had black Yoshis, blue Yoshis, white Yoshis. They did pretty good with the ASM hacks of this game. There's our second star coin. Um. As for some background information, this Let's Play actually isn't blind. I, uh, wanted to start it, but like I said, my Wii doesn't have any recording equipment, and I didn't really want to set up Dolphin, because, uh, I don't have a Bluetooth receiver, so I can't use my actual Wiimotes with Dolphin. Plus, as you can see, it's not exactly running at full speed. But... It does look a little better than running through my Wii because uh, I don't have component cables for yet. Not sure if I'll ever pick those up. Alright, we got our red coins. And I'm gonna miss it. Yeah, I was a bit slow on that. I should have triggered the hidden blocks underneath that last red coin. Um is our last star coin of the level. The secrets in this level are pretty simple. Of course, it's the first level. You would expect them to be. I really don't like those crab guys. These are the hidden blocks I was talking about. Those crab guys kinda suck. Alright, we got a P-switch here. Normally on Dolphin, if you don't use specific settings, blue coins will be invisible. And coins won't spin, either. Um, and enabling the option for those to show up is actually very taxing on your hardware, so... No normally between that and recording the game and getting be better audio, I would just ignore it, because it's only spinning coins and blue coins. Let me get that. Oh no, I don't want no I don't want ice flower. But yeah. It could be very taxing on the hardware, but I have to have it enabled because I don't want invisible blue coins. Normally if I use uh the proper configuration, my computer could run this at a higher resolution and at sixty frames per second, but what can you do? What can you do? So that's the first level. As you can see, we've opened up two levels. Um, 
Actually, it's only really one level. This is Yoshi's house. You recognize it from Super Mario World. We won't go in there just yet, uh, because there's a couple things in there that we can't get without um, the Switch palaces. It's actually a pretty cool easter egg that the newer team put in. We'll see it later. It's like a little museum. I, I like it. Got little sprites of all the Marios throughout the ages. We got a little secret here. I believe this is our first star coin. Jesus, I'm gonna better slow down. But that's alright. I've already played it on my Wii up to the last couple levels of World 8. So I'm not too bothered by it. It's it's not the true newer Super Mario Brothers experience. But, you know. I wanted to do a Let's Play. And sometimes you gotta make do with what you got. Uh, my memory isn't so good. So, you might see me try to duck into some pipes that probably don't have anything in them. But I gotta check to make sure because I want to, uh, during the course of this Let's Play, we're gonna be getting all the star coins. Probably not all the secrets, I don't know all the secrets. But definitely all the, le all the star coins, hidden exits, that sort of thing. I don't believe, yeah, these pipes don't have anything in them. Alright. Uh, I apologize. Once, uh, once we get past the initial, for oh shit, the initial first time jitters, I will try and be more interesting. Don't know about that, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a secret down here. Check this out. That'll be our second star coin of the level. You gotta watch out for those little indentations in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. That usually means that there's a transparent, transparent wall or, you know, one of those little areas. Now, the controller I'm using is a DualShock 3 for my PlayStation 3, which kinda sucks. Normally it's a great controller, but I'm so used to playing these games on the Wii that whenever I want to do my spin jumps, I end up shaking the controller. It it's ridiculous because even even if I'm playing like New Super Mario Brothers 2 or New Super Mario shit, sure seeing that coming or New Super Mario Brothers DS, I'll end up shaking my DS sometimes, whacking it against the freaking the bottom of the table. And here we have our first Hammer Brothers encounter. We could just spit the hammers b back at them. Ah. Right. If I could aim it properly. And there's the last stir coin of the level. Now the newer team has done some pretty cool stuff with the power-ups. Well, one of them anyway. They brought back the Hammer Brothers suit. Apparently they used the um, the coding from Yoshi's Hammer Spit and created a whole new model for Mario to turn him into Hammer Brothers. Hammer Brothers Mario. It's pretty cool. The Hammer Brothers suit is actually kind of a little bit overpowered. It's a little difficult to aim sometimes, but. It could just—it could destroy pretty much anything. It, it destroys booze. I've seen it destroy icicles. It, it gets pretty crazy. <coughs> uh, this first video will probably—we'll probably do just the entire first world, or at least the first half of the first world, because the because with the, the scope of this game. The worlds are so massive, each one has at least, usually has at least 10 or more levels to it. Unless it's a sub-world, in which case it's usually a, uh, usually about, I don't know, 4 or 5 levels long. And that's okay, because, oh shit, we already missed the first star coin, hold on. 
Uh, where? Ah, oh, there it is. It's under that fat bastard. Alright. That was close. But yeah. Where's a regular world? Oh. I almost fucked up bad there. A regular world. Third time. In New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Is about. I don't know. Six, seven levels. In. New Super Mario Brothers Wii, uh, newer Super Mario Brothers Wii, the worlds are much more massive. Which isn't a bad thing, the, the levels are pretty good, and as you'll see, sometimes they can surprise you with what's up next. Uh, where is the third star coin? I don't think the Wigglers are usually that segmented in the actual game. Oh, you know. This is an emulator of a system that's relatively new in terms of emulation. There's the third star coin. I'm not running the best of rigs, but I, uh, I'm fairly proud of it. It's my best computer, really, that I've ever had. Alright, let's... Didn't quite make the one up, but that, that's alright. That's alright. Mario time! Let's see, now we have to do world, uh, level 1-4. I like to do all the levels in order. I, I got mild OCD, not really. Never been diagnosed. But I'm still a little crazy. Oh yeah, that shop down there, that mushroom shop. You could use your star coins that you acquire to purchase items at the shop, but uh... To tell you the truth, I never use it. I don't like to... Oh, this one's the first. There we go. Anyways, yeah. The shops. I don't like to use my... Star coins in the shops. I like to keep my star coins... Close. Close to the bell. I don't like to... Hand him out to some random frickin' toad handing out items on a street corner. That's not my thing. Those stir coins might, might have more of a use than that. In the end. I don't know. Usually they do. Uh, where is our second stir? The newer team is very liberal with their one-ups. Uh, by world, I think world two in in my Wii save file, I was at 99 lives, which is a good thing actually, because uh, well, some of these levels could get to be a little bit of a pain. Hmm. Usually, when a sign points up like that, there's a hidden block nearby in the air. Maybe it's just telling me that they want me to go here. Maybe, I don't know. Still gotta watch out for that toxic shit. Cause one hit with that will kill. It's like lava that way. Uh, I'll probably just jump over these guys. I love that spin jump. Gets me out of a lot of jams. Uh, uh, what? Oh, there it is. We need a Koopa. There you go, Mr. Koopa. There you go. Go die for me. That's cool. A little morbid, but what can you do? Sometimes a guy just needs a star coin. Oh, yeah. This is pretty cool right here. Because one of the things that the newer team does in their levels is they try to make the transitions on the world map lo be logical. Like at the end of this level, it has you climbing a tree to get up to a higher plateau. And as you will see on the world map, we're going a little bit higher to the next plateau. Although it's a ladder here and not really a tree, but it serves the same purpose. I, li I like that they do that. Alright, uh, this will be our last level for the moment. For the first video. T 
Timber Tower, bringing back the honeycombs from Mario Galaxy. Thankfully, we don't have to put up with that Bee Mario nonsense. Or Cat Mario. I don't know how Cat Mario is gonna work. That's some Super Mario 3D World bullshit. But... Uh, I, just, I just can't see it. He's, he's a plumber in his 40s. Or at least he was in his 40s in 1987. So he, really, he's in his 60s now. And he's jumping around in a cat suit. And... Uh, I guess the best thing we're gonna get out of that is seeing Princess Peach in, in a cat suit, but I, uh... I, I somehow doubt that Nintendo's gonna go all Halle Berry Catwoman with Peach in 3D World. I would be surprised. I would laugh my ass off at that, actually. But... Uh, I'm sure somebody will capitalize on that. But somebody already... Oh my god. So, so, if you've been keeping up with Smash Brothers, somebody's already, uh... If, oh, sorry. If you've been keeping up with Smash Brothers, you know that, uh... The Wii Fit Trainer was... Revealed as one of the new contenders for Smash Brothers for the Wii U and 3DS, and I was browsing game FAQs yesterday because I wanted to keep track of news because there's a couple of other rumors floating around about Little Mac and Pac-Man. Anyways, point is, I was browsing game FAQs and some some people. They, they posted links to... Ah, what was it? Somebody had posted a Rule 34 picture of... What was it? It was Wii Fit Trainer, and I think Zero Suit Samus? Something like that. Oh, we're about to miss the third star coin. It's in that little area right there. You can see the pixels. Anyways. Yeah. So... If people out there are willing to create stuff like that for the Wii Fit Trainer and Zero Suit Samus or whoever it was. I am sure we'll get Peach in a cat suit, Rule 34. Porn, basically. It's not gonna be pretty, it's it's ridiculous. Now this guy is fairly simple. He just hops around. Um there we go. He just throw the purple blocks. Oh, that sucked. I'm used to shaking the controller to pick these things up. But on... There we go. Come on. Don't let me... There we go. Smack his ass on the head. So now we're at Mario number one. And we have completed the first half of the world. And we're gonna save. Alright, thank you for watching this first video of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll join me for the next one. Have a good day.